I don't feel so good. Yummy! Ugh. <laughs> Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click the bell to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Hey guys and welcome back to the second part of Let's Play Pretend on episode. Yummy! Time for dinner! <gasps> Oh no, I'd better put the envelope and book back quickly. Oh, there you are. Robert told me I might find you here. How do you like the library so far? How should I act? Just act normal or let Janice know you're suspicious. We're gonna just act normal for now and see how it goes, but I'm scared they might notice that we're being kind of strange. <laughs> oh, it's great. There's a lot of books and stuff. I'm glad you like it, dear. I'll recommend you some good books for you to read later. Sounds good. Now then, shall we go to dinner? I guess so. It's nice to have dinner with our daughter again, isn't it, Robert? It sure is, Janice. I think I'll just pretend I never saw that letter. I won't accuse Janice and Robert of anything until I find out more. After all, they seem nice, but I can't let my guard down. Did you make all of this food, Janice? Oh no, dear, the maid did. These people have a maid too? Where is she? We asked her to stay out of the way for now. We know you're feeling overwhelmed as it is. I'll have to find the maid later and see what she knows about my parents. Anyways, Yummy, how do you feel about attending school tomorrow? You want me to go to school already? I think it might be good for you, dear. I know it may seem sudden, but the school year just started one month ago. You wouldn't have much work to catch up on if you started now. Janice is right, Yummy. It might take your mind off of all of this confusion. Yeah. I'll make it worse. You'll be fine, dear. And you can always come home if you don't feel like you can handle it. I know your friends would like to see you as well. The friends I don't remember. You told them I'm out of the hospital? Yes, they were worried about you during the last six months. They wanted to come over tonight, but I told them you needed to rest. I know it would make them happy to see you tomorrow. Ugh, how can I say no? Okay, I guess I can go to school tomorrow. That's wonderful to hear. We're very proud of you, Yami. Hmm, later. What a day. The first day I've experienced in six months. I guess I should try and sleep if I have to go to school in the morning. Quick change into my pajamas. I wonder what chaos awaits me tomorrow. <laughs> wow, it turned day real quick. <laughs> Where am I? Did I disappear? Oh, there I am. I'm just doing a casual little hide under the bed. I slept surprisingly well for someone who's been unconscious for half a year. Time to get dressed and face the day. There's a lot of stuff to choose from. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to go through, check every outfit again. This is just crazy. Crazy talk. You know what? I'm gonna go with this one. All right, we're gonna go with this one. Too many clothes to choose from. This girl cannot be bothered. <laughs> just like me in real life, I'll just throw anything on. Good morning, Yummy. Did you sleep well? Yeah. I did. That's great. Are you looking forward to your first day back at school? Yeah, I am actually. Real looking forward to it. I'm excited to see what happens. I can't wait to meet my friends. I'm glad you're feeling so positive about this. It makes us so happy to see you happy. Anyways, would you like some breakfast before you leave? No thanks. I don't want to be late for my first day. All right then. Have a good day at school, dear. Oh, and one more thing. I have your cell phone here. Take it so you can call us any time. Okay, thanks. Be good. I boarded the school bus and chose an empty seat. As I stared out the window, I wondered what kind of jobs Robert and Jeannie's had. I'd never asked them and they never told me. Maybe they forgot or maybe they didn't tell me on purpose. I would ask them about it after school. Okay. I guess I should find the principal to let him know I'm back. I don't know where the principal office is. I'm lost in my own school. Are you okay? Oh, I'm just lost. Are you new here? I guess you could say that. All right then, new girl. What do you need help finding? The principal's office. It's actually right down this hallway on the right. Oh, thanks for your help. No problem. Is there anything else you needed to find? No, that's all for now. See you around, new girl. Bye. Um, sorry to bother you, but listen, I already told you kids that I won't replace the water in the drinking fountains with any to drink. I tried that two years ago and half of the school classrooms got trashed by you hyperactive savages. Actually, that's not what I'm here for. Well then, is this about the rumour going around about the cafeteria burgers are made with horse meat? What? No! I'm just here to ask about which classes I'm in and where I can find them. What in tarnation are you babbling about? Well, my name is Yami and I- Yami? My goodness, you're out of the hospital. I didn't think you would ever wake up from your coma. When I heard about what happened to you, I feared the worst. How are you doing now? I feel fine for the most part, but I lost my memory. Lost your memory? That's terrible. Yeah. So, 
What exactly do you remember? Mm, not much. I don't remember you or this school. Oh dear. You were such a good student, Yami. You got perfect grades each year and made it on the honour roll. You forget all of the subjects you've learned in classes for the past three years as well. No, I remember everything I've learned. I only forget places and people. Well, in that case, I suppose I should introduce myself. I'm Principal Winslow. Nice to meet you. And you as well for the second time. Now then, I suppose I should set you up with some classes. That would be great. Thanks. Don't worry, Yami. You'll fit in perfectly here the first time and you'll fit in again. I don't think it will take long for you to get adjusted to everything. At least the principal is nice and helpful. I feel a bit better already. Here's your timetable for the semester. If you need any help, don't hesitate to come back here and ask me. Or maybe your peers could help you as well if they're willing. Thank you, Principal Winslow. Not a problem, Yami. Good luck with your classes. Hmm. Beep, 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 beep. It's Edward Winslow calling. Yami just visited me in the office. Yes, everything is going according to plan so far. She doesn't suspect a thing. It looks like my first class is English. Room 203. Nope, not this room. Maybe further down the hall? Yami! I can't believe you're here! Do I know you? What? Of course you know me! I'm your best friend! I'm sorry, I, I didn't know. Sorry, I didn't mean to go off on you like that. It's just that I haven't seen you in so long. And then your dad called me and said you woke up from your coma, but you had lost your memory, and I just, I couldn't. <laughs> I just miss you so much. She's obviously a very caring friend. How could I forget about her? I'm sorry, um, what's your name? Chloe. Wait, your name is Chloe? My parents told me a little about you when I was at the hospital. They said that we've been best friends since kindergarten. Yeah, us and Ethan. You'll probably meet Ethan later. He's kind of nerdy, but he's cute and really lovable. I think he was crushing on you. He probably still is. Really? Yeah, but enough about him. Since you can't remember anything, I was wondering, maybe we can talk later. I could tell you about all the crazy adventures we've been on together, and I could tell you more about the night of your accident. Maybe it will help jog your memory. I would like to hear Chloe's perspective on what happened that night. I can ask her about it later. Yeah. I like that. Also, would you like to try and become friends again? Oh, sure. He seems real sweet. Yeah, sure. I'd like that. I'm so happy to hear that. It will just be like old times. Yeah, whatever that means. Anyways, I guess I should let you get to class. Come find me if you need anything, okay? I will. Thanks, Chloe. Later, Gator. See ya. Here it is. 2.03. Right on time. What in the world is going on in this class? Doesn't look like anybody's doing any work. People dancing, people clapping, people eating pizza. And who is that boy? The bell rang. Get to your seats, you ungrateful brats. Jimmy, what did I say about eating your peanut butter and pickle sandwiches in class? I was hungry. I don't care if you starve until I finish my lesson. Now then, let's get on with it. Today I'll be teaching you. I guess we'll learn about math. Math is very mathematical. As you can see, math is essential to your well-being. Without math, we would all die. Miss mm, Van Berg, this is English class. Don't you sass me, Missy. I'm a dude. That's it. Detention for all of you. And who the heck are you? <gasps> I'm Yami Log. I was just enrolled in this class. By who? The principal? And why are you late? I'm not late. The bell just rang a few seconds ago. So you're a few seconds late. Are you going to let me sit down? Or are you going to waste your entire lecture time grilling me? <laughs> hmm, fine. Go sit down before I give you detention. You can sit beside. You can sit next to me. Oh good, a volunteer. You can sit next to Elliot. Actually, my name's Ethan. Ethan? I don't care, Edward. Now take your seat next to a mat. And welcome to math or English or whatever the heck this class is supposed to be. Yummy, I can't believe you came back to school so soon. So, he's the lovable nerd who had a crush on me. I'm sorry, Ethan. I lost my memory. What? Seriously? So you don't remember me? No, sorry. I knew that accident was bad, but I didn't think it would cause memory loss. Wait, do you even remember the accident? Yeah, my parents and Chloe told me a little bit about it. So you saw Chloe today, huh? Yeah, she kind of surprised me in the hallway. Yeah, Chloe can be a little hyper and overdramatic sometimes. You were always very calm compared to her. I always wondered how you two became friends. Everyone told me that the three of us became friends in kindergarten. Yes, we did. I still remember that day surprisingly well. You were playing in the sandbox by yourself and Chloe came along and dumped sand on your head. I came along as your savior and pushed Chloe in the sandbox. We all laughed about it afterwards and built sandcastles together. I wish I could remember that. Yeah, me too. Chloe said she wanted to talk to me later to answer some of my questions. Would you like to come? 
I would love to. Where are we meeting? Oh, I, I don't know. Chloe didn't say. That's okay. I'll text her after class. You should have still had Chloe and I listed in your contacts as well. Oh yeah, I forgot that my parents gave me my phone this morning. Hmm. I've got a lot of contacts in here. There's Chloe and Ethan, my parents, and who the heck is Honey Bunny? And why are there heart emojis next to their name? Are you alright, Yummy? You look kind of freaked out. Yeah, I'm fine. So we'll meet up later, right? For sure. Essentially, we were destined to be slaves for aliens. The day of destruction is upon us, so prepare yourselves. Is this teacher crazy? It would appear so. How she ever got hired is beyond me. For your homework, you will write a 20-page essay on the impending war between the underground lizard people and the aliens from the future. This will be due tomorrow. Class is over now, get out. After another boring class. Chloe and Ethan texted me and said they were here in the cafeteria. Where are they? Wait, I think I see them over there. Over here, Yummy! Coming! I have to say, it's weird seeing you back here again. Yeah, it's definitely weird, but it's also nice. We both missed you a lot, Yummy. I'm sorry you were so worried about me. This is awkward. It's not like I can say I miss them too. They both seem really nice though. Maybe we can all become friends again? So, I know you wanted some answers. What exactly happened on the night of my accident? My parents mentioned a party and how I fell down a flight of stairs. Would you like to tell her, Ethan? No, you go ahead. All right then. Well, your parents were right, but I'll explain in a little more detail. Ooh, this is like a flashback. This is cool. What in the world? Okay, we're just dancing. Six months ago, I brought you and Ethan to a college party. Oh man. I'm getting tired. You can't stop now. You need to let loose and live a little. But we've been here for like an hour. We've only been here for 35 minutes. Really? Felt longer than that. You know what? I think you need a drink. No thanks, I'm good. I'm getting you a drink and that's final. Here, to us. You didn't want to drink, but I made you. I just wanted you to have fun for once in your life. And then you got carried away. Yummy, are you okay? I'm <laughs> Fine. Um, okay. Where are your glasses? I accidentally dropped them and some guy stepped on them. That's too bad. But you look super cute. Thanks. You look good too. Anyways, since when do you drink this much? What? I can't hear you. That's it. I'm going to find Chloe and we're taking you home. But I'm having so much fun. I'll be back in a minute. Hmm. Ethan and I came a few minutes later. I'm just saying, you shouldn't have let her drink that much. Much. And I'm just saying, I was trying to let her have fun for once in her life. Wait, is that? What's wrong? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, no, this is a bad idea. Yami, get down from there. No, I'm having fun. Should we call her parents? Who can tell us where our daughter is? <gasps> oh my gosh, I am wild. Come down from there this instant, Yami. Before you hurt yourself. I don't feel so good. Yami. Ugh. <laughs> Oh boy, I really did fall. And that's what happened. Once again, I have no recollection of that night. I must have hit my head pretty hard to end up in a coma. Something about Chloe's story feels off. Thanks for telling me everything, Chloe. Of course. Well, I should get to my next class. Yeah, me too. We'll talk again soon, okay? Sure thing. I'll be happy to fill in the blanks for you. Bye guys. Wait, guys, I think I see Jason is here. Who is he? Hello, Jason. Oh gosh, I just fell over him. <laughs> How embarrassing. Oh, he looks shocked. So shocked. Sorry about that. Yami, it's really you? Here we go again. I, I was worried about you. Yami, when I heard you were in a coma and there was a chance you might never wake up, I fought all of the things I never get to tell you. And I thought I'd never get to say how much I love you. What? I love you so much, Yami. And when I heard you were back at school, I looked for you everywhere. But now you're here and everything is okay. I'm so happy to see you, princess. <gasps> Who the heck do you think you are? Oh boy, he's shocked. It's me, Jason, your boyfriend. Oh no, we have a boyfriend we can't remember. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is where today's part ends. I hope you did enjoy it and I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Your channel sweet just like some candy Ooh, Hot just like Miami Yeah, a hit deserves a Grammy You like it, so subscribe Let it take you for a ride Post a comment, you gon' see that purple hair Go side to side Watch it go side to side And don't forget she got that merch to buy